Hey, welcome to <clears throat> oh, Plant Based Homestead Prepper, where we make prepping fun. Um, oh my God, I, I'm out here and, and this is going to be a special report. So, <coughs> oh my goodness, they're coming. I Are we live? Are we li okay, we're live. All right, we bring you this special report to come to you and let you know that something happened in the field to Roderick. We don't know quite yet, but something happened. We had some kind of transmission that did not go through. Hold on, wait a minute. I think we're getting him back. Hold on, somebody just... Okay, back to Roderick. Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Heartspeak Warriors Forum. I hope you're enjoying all of the edutainment that you're getting right here on Plant Based Homestead Pepper with my honey, Roger Chappelle. When you're done, pop over to my channel where we'll be discussing the extraordinary stories of ordinary people. For now, cue the intro. Hi, I'm Christina. And you are watching Plant Based Homestead Prepper. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, guys, I was just fooling around. Uh, there's really nothing going on except these dogs are just running around the house. We are truly going to be doing an unboxing right now. I, um, I just really, really, really wanted to do something really creative for you guys just to show you guys that I can do other, something other than walk around a grocery store. <laughs> so um, we want to thank, in this video, want to thank Nice Collector. Knife Collector, thank you so very much for sending us whatever's in this box, okay? Whatever's in here, but I want to open it up. And you guys know that when I do stuff, it's usually live. Very little editing. I just want to be authentic, you know. just want to show you guys the true lifestyle of plant-based homestead prepper and wife, a.k.a. Roderick and Jennifer. Or Jennifer and Roderick in y'all's cases. Because y'all love Jennifer way more than you love me. And it's okay. You know, I'll play second fiddle. It's all right. So we're going to open this up. And we're going to see what's in here. <clears throat> Again, Knife Collector, thank you so very much for what you have sent. All right. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Oh, wow. This is cool. And knife collector, you may have to tell me what some of this stuff is. Oh, this is a cool little kit. All right, so it looks like this is everything you need when you're bugging out as far as all kinds of attachments. Okay. Uh, looks like Looks like there might be a gas key here and a hex lock and a water spigot key. I don't know what this one is. Knife collector, so you can let me know what this one is. There's a triangle right here. I'm not sure what that one is. Of course, here's a standard and a Phillips screwdriver. This is amazing. Um, wow, that's the that's a cool tool right there. So thank you. That is that's amazing. I really truly appreciate that. So that's uh, what's the, one of the items that's in here. And let's see here. We're going to put that back in here. And I'm going to put that to the side real quick. All right. And we're going to go to the next one. Welcome to Plant Based Homestead Prepper. I am Grim from Grim Survival, where we talk about SHTF scenarios, food shortages, things I see while driving this thing, and solar minimums, among many other things. But back to your regular scheduled program. Cue the intro. Welcome to our channel. Watch this video. All right, so here is the next item. Now, he's, he's right. I'm going to need him to tell me, explain to me what this one is. I'm going to open it up. Okay, knife collector. This is cool. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. All right, so you got to tell me what this one is because you're right. I don't know what this one is. Like, you can open it. It's got kind of a blade right here. Uh, maybe it's a way you can hide a blade on some shoestrings or something. I'm guessing. I really don't know. I don't know. I mean, that's cool though. Whatever it is. Looks like it's a way you can 
anchor something down here and then slice that way towards you or away from you. Maybe if you did it like this, slice away. His name is Knife Collector, so I'm not surprised that he's collecting knives. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put that to the side. So thank you again for that, Knife Collector. And... Okay, and we got another one here, and this one is the everyday carry tool. Okay, that's cool. He's right, I don't know what that is either. It looks like it's some kind of tool that will fit on top of something and you'll be able to turn it. I don't recognize that shape though, okay? So yeah, knife collector, you have to let me know what that is. Man, this is some cool stuff. All righty, and... This is Roderick Chappelle for Plant Based Homestead Prepper, where we make prepping fun. Hey, I stopped at this store and got this cool Halloween mask. Look at this thing. It's got long hair. It's got a beard of a white guy. Man, this is scary, man. And uh, look at here. It even looks real. So, uh, but anyway, this is uh, actually Paul from Off Grid Desert Farm with Paul and Adrian, and uh, we're working together with uh, with Roderick's channel to uh, to get things going. So, uh, if y'all have time, stop by our channel, check it out. But uh, just wanted to do a little intro for uh, for the Plant Based Homestead Prepper. We we make prepping fun, guys. So. Uh, they do have this mask at your local store, probably, or maybe on America's Most Wanted. But anyway, <laughs> y'all guys have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. All right, let's see what else. Like, this is the last item. And it is paracord shoelaces. Okay. Fire laces, uh, fire starts, blades. So, that's pretty cool. So it's paracord that you can lace into your boot that comes with, look like some blades that you can include and lace up in there. So, that is really, really cool. It looks like something else is in there. What is that? A fire starter? Let me open this thing up. Cause this, is, this is some neat stuff right here. I didn't want to open it yet, but... All right, so paracord shoelaces. Oh, okay. So it says right here, fire starter. Yeah, fire starters, paracord shoelaces. So fire starters, paracord shoelaces, size 1300 millimeters to 1500 millimeters. Materials, paracord rope, uh, fire starts blades. How to start a fire. Remove waterproof cap covering uh, one of the shoelace flint rods in. Strike the exposed flint rod with one of the included metal striker blades. You may have to scrape off black protective coating before you see a spark. Have tinder ready to catch the flint rod and you will have fire. How to lace. Ensure the plastic sleeve protectors is covering the metal strike blade. Thread each flint rod in through the metal striker blade, then center it. You may need to punch out the plastic sleeve holes. Begin threading flint rod, uh, lace ends through shoe or boot, and lace up. You may need to remove waterproof caps to thread through, through eyelets. Please make sure the lace hole can get through it. So this is a cool little gift. All right. So there's there's what the laces look like. And you got these rods at the end right here. All right. And here's another one. You get two of them. Also, same thing on the other one. Okay. Two rods. And then we have... Some blades. Cool. That is really, really cool. So, knife collector. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. I appreciate this. 
This is very, very cool. I mean, extremely cool. So I will, I was just looking at some boots the other day. <clears throat> and as soon as I get me a new pair, I'm gonna do a video lacing this stuff into them. And as soon as I chat with you, I'm gonna find out about this other tool, which is this one right here. Yeah, you you're right, I didn't, I guess I could read the box, huh? It says, Everyday Carry Tools. And it's from Odd, Odd Door, okay? Oh, it doesn't have any directions. So I'll have to go to the website, which is www.outdoor-edc, everydaycarry.com. And I'm curious now, so I'm going to go online. Oh, goodness, up, yeah! Okay, guys, I know this was a shopping video, but <clears throat> I felt like it was a necessity for me to share this with you. Um, as preppers, I would highly, highly, highly uh, speak against doing this right here. You know, putting these little things in the back of your toilets and all that good stuff. I would not do it at all. Um, and I would tell you why. If you do this, okay, if you do this, and if you need that water at some point in time, you have contaminated your own water. Because even though this is a toilet, this water that's coming in through this valve right here and coming in here is the same water that's coming through this faucet, which is the same water coming through your kitchen, which is the same water coming into your hot water tank or water closet. So when you do this type of thing right here and you put the bleach tablets and these blue tablets off in the back of your toilet, then you are hurting your own self in the future, perhaps. Okay? If it comes to that, you know, hopefully nothing ever happens where it comes to something like that. But I just, I saw it, I thought about it, I said, you know what? Let me share this. All right, so thank y'all for watching. Keep watching. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. And of course, while I'm making this video and editing, one crawled up here behind my shoulder. That's Tinky. One was in my lap, just jumped down. One is right next to me. Jackson is making his way over here because he's just, he's deprived of attention apparently because every five seconds he has to have attention. I want to thank all of our two partners, uh, Jennifer at Heartspeak Warriors Forum, Forum, Grim Survival, Christina at Christina, All Great Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. And then I want to thank, personally thank again, the person that sponsored this video and the one that sent all these cool items to me. Knife Collector, thank you so much. Uh, you're going to have to email me so you can tell me what everything is about or email me your phone number so we can talk so you can tell me what everything is so I can get some training. <laughs> all right, this has been a special report in the field. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they they're coming back. Oh, my God, they're coming back, y'all. Ah! Ah, they're coming back. <laughs> thank you all for that. Thank you.